So we looked at our first MOSFET amplifier, which yeah. is the common yeah. source amplifier. Right. Yes. And then we also built the MOSFET current mirror. Correct. Correct. Right. To because we needed a current source to bias that common source amplifier, we saw that uh, you can build a MOSFET current mirror also. In fact, a nice one where you can copy n number of, I mean, current mirrors are possible. That is true. Correct. Correct. What about this uh, different amplifier that we have built using VJTs? Correct. Similar. We can build the same thing with the MOSFET mm -hmm. also. Shall we do that? Yeah. Okay, so let us do that. So we'll look at the. Uh, we don't need to start drawing from scratch. We'll just yeah, show the circuit. We no? know the BJT based one. Correct. We can do the. We can just build the version. Yes. Of the MOSFET. Because the idea is the same. Correct. So just the transistor is changed. Correct. Just the transistor is changed. Correct. So it looked a little bit like two common uh, emitter amplifiers. Correct. In this case, it will look like two common source amplifiers. And we saw that there is a current source to bi bias it. So, so some I naught we said. And uh, we said these are two identical, no? Two identical devices. Yeah. Resistors are the same. I will call them RD. You have to use the same resistors. Um, we apply uh, same DC voltage. Correct, correct. But uh, different opposite uh, AC voltage. Different voltage. Hmm? Yeah. So shall I just show that directly? Yeah. So I'll say that you have VDC plus VD by two. VD by two. Yeah. Right. Uh, I've said input, no. So VID correct. is what I said. Correct. Correct. And I, uh, we'll say VDC minus uh, VID by two. Yes. Correct. So that for this overall amplifier, you take the difference between the two inputs, this input and this input. It will be VID. Yeah. Correct. So it will almost. We want to build this amplifier, no. Exactly. Right. So you want to give VD or VID. And you want to get VOD. Yeah. You want to build an amplifier like this. And uh, except that we need to bias it, so we have to give VDC. We also know how to give this VDC. We have done it. You Resistive think. divider Correct. from VDD. We can do it. That is very easy. Couple the signal using a capacitor. We know how to do all of that. Yes. So we don't need to worry about it too much. Just the output alone we will mark. Output alone we will mark. So you have two outputs. And uh, you can take one as positive, other as negative. So this will be VOD. In each half, you will get VOD by two and minus VOD by two. Yeah. Right. So you'll get uh, by two and minus VOD by two. So the difference will be VOD. And the gain from VID by two to VOD by two will be again minus GMRD. Right. Yeah. So the gain of this amplifier will be minus. GMRD, where GM is either GM of 1 or GM of 2, either M1 and M2 are identical, right? And uh, we know many things, no? I think uh, if this current source is I0, yeah. each of these devices is I0 by 2, I0 by correct, 2, correct. right? So once you know this current, you know the bias current of M1 and M2, then you know the DC voltages drops the across voltage. RDs. So you can find out the DC voltage at the output also. We are interested only in the signal. So I have only marked plus V or minus VOD. You can also find out the DC values, right? We know all of this. No problem, I think. Hmm? So this is straightforward. Very straightforward. Very similar actually yeah. to the other one. So I think the one thing we know is that uh, we basically have a common mode gain and a differential mode gain, same as that of the BJT uh, circuit. You will have common mode gain for the circuit differential mode gain for this circuit, you can define something called a common mode rejection ratio, yeah. which is the ratio of the differential mode gain to the common mode gain. And yeah, so. yeah. I think uh, we have defined the AD common mode, Correct. sorry, difference mode, difference gain. Correct. Um, the common mode gain we did not define. We did not. We said there is something called. Correct. We did not define it. Hmm. But uh, you know, the students who are Correct. interested Correct. in learning more can learn. Correct. And. Uh, but essentially, Whatever the common mode signal, we want to reject that. 
correct that should not reflect in the output that is correct that is correct so this is your mosfet differential amplifier very similar to the yeah. vjt1 yeah what else did we see after uh, did we look at any other aspect i am trying to remember um, um, see we have done the other circuits using pnp also correct but it's very similar it is very similar well maybe we, we can draw it shall we just draw the pmos version of this maybe, maybe. that is uh, relatively straightforward yeah so i think uh, it will just look like a mirror uh, version of this so you'll have a bias current i not so you now have to pmos transistors and you'll have two resistors to ground so you'll have m1 m2 rd rd m1 and m2 should be identical um, you will have two bias I naught by 2 and I naught by 2 will be the bias currents. So, this is VDD and uh, this will be VDC plus VID by 2. This will be VDC minus VID by 2 and the outputs will be taken across here. So, it is Yes. Very similar. Yes. Right. So normally it is if you take the the way the MOSFET is drawn, no, it looks like uh, normally we draw the NMOS circuit with the source on the bottom side, hmm. drain on the top side. Yeah. BJT we draw it such that emitter is on the bottom side, collector is on the top side. Correct. PNP and PMOS we draw it the other way. So normally you can get the PNP circuit or PMOS circuit by just reflecting. Yes. Right. So anything that goes to VDD will now go to ground. Yeah. Right. Current source from this point uh, to ground becomes current source from VDD to the common source point yes. of the two MOSFETs and so on. So once you know one circuit, it's very easy to replicate. Yeah. 